These facts are as cold as ice, and they're willing to sacrifice your love for, uh, for frozen beverages. Ah! Ah! Make it stop! Make it stop! <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In today's installment, we'll be counting down the top 5 facts about brain freeze. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. So come along as we explore this head-chilling, mysterious sensation. All right, everyone, chill. Number five, it's a condition with many names. Freezer head, cold rush, cranium cramp, <laughs> brain freeze. <laughs> After the widely used brain freeze, ice cream headache is probably the next most popular term for this common affliction. And why not? If you're gonna be in pain, there's no point denying how you got there. While sufferers around the world love to employ these various descriptive terms, researchers prefer to call the condition by its science-given name, sphenopalatine ganglion neuralgia, and that just rolls off the tongue. Verily, this vicious swears of verbiage veers most verbose. The term might be a mouthful, but like its colloquial equivalent, the ice cream headache, this name is all about accuracy. It means nerve pain of the pterygopalatine ganglion, which is a cluster of nerve cells in the roof of the mouth. Then why did you just call it a brain freeze? Number four, science isn't quite sure why it happens. They're getting close though. <laughs> the explanation behind this fleeting brain pain has long evaded us, but in recent years, researchers have begun to unravel its mysteries. According to Dr. George Serrador of the Harvard Medical School, the pain of brain freeze results from a sudden rush of blood to the brain. He noticed in his research that the moment people feel this distinct sensation, the anterior cerebral artery widens, resulting in greater flow. But the question remains as to why this happens. Serrador suspects that it may be the brain's attempt to protect itself from extreme cold. While this evolutionary explanation is certainly compelling, it doesn't explain why some people never experience brain freeze while others get it easily. Ah! Brain freeze. <laughs> Amateur. Number three, it's not actually brain pain. I don't think brain freeze is an accurate description here. <laughs> For those of us who do experience this distinct sensation, the feeling may be short-lived, but it's excruciating. When that anterior artery starts pumping blood, however, it's not actually hurting your brain, because the human brain doesn't actually have any pain receptors. If we could somehow access your brain right now, without subjecting you to all the pain of opening your skull, we could poke it and you wouldn't feel a thing. I can feel my brain. What can feel pain is the meninges, the outer layer of membrane that covers the brain, which also happens to connect to the anterior artery. So what's the cure? Be warned, it's not an answer you're gonna like. Quite simply, slow down when eating or drinking cold stuff. Get us back to the station, now! <laughs> Number two, there's a connection to migraines, but we're not sure what. Hey, what I just did gave me a f***ing migraine! Hey, like we said, science still has a lot of work to do when it comes to all things brain freeze. Honestly, ice cream headaches have never been a top research priority. We know it's not dangerous, so why investigate further? Well, recent studies have drawn a link between brain freeze and migraines, and as any individual prone to migraines will tell you, that's worth exploring. Imagine someone sawed open your head, filled it with razors, and shook it as hard as they could. Unfortunately, the exact nature of this relationship remains a mystery. According to a 1992 study in the City of London Migraine Clinic, migraine sufferers were less prone to brain freeze. According to the Mayo Clinic, however, migraine patients are allegedly more prone to brain freeze. While Dr. Serrador believes that understanding brain freeze can help us better understand migraines, others believe that brain freeze is actually the cure. Well, hey, what a breakthrough there! Number one, it's not medically serious, but it can be seriously distracting. Even if Serrador's theory is correct, and an ice cream headache is the body's attempt to protect the brain from what it perceives to be an extreme drop in temperature, it is, as Serrador puts it, misfiring. Kick me in the head till I pass out! According to sinus surgeon Stacy Gray, it's unlikely that brain freeze actually lowers the temperature of the brain significantly. Even if it were to somehow cause a sharp drop, according to neurosurgeon Rafael Tamago, once you warm the brain up, it picks right up from where it left off. It's not harmful at all. You Are you okay? Brain freeze. So what's the real danger? Distraction. In 2013, a San Antonio man experienced such a brain freeze that he lost control of his car, causing a five-car accident. Believe it or not, tests came back negative for alcohol. So please, drink Slurpees responsibly. Oh, brain freeze! 
Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.